Iran is preparing an attack on Israel. It is planned to use more powerful warheads and other weapons that were not used during previous attacks, according to the Times of Israel and the Wall Street Journal. An Egyptian official told the Wall Street Journal that Tehran has privately warned Cairo of an impending response to Israel's October 26th strikes, which followed the Islamic Republic's ballistic missile attack on October 1st. According to the official, Iran's response is expected to be strong and complex. Our military lost people, so they need to respond, said an Iranian official. He added that Iran may use Iraqi territory for parts of the operation, potentially targeting Israeli military assets, but much more aggressively than last time. According to Iranian and Arab officials, Tehran does not plan to limit its response to missiles and drones, as in the previous two attacks. This time, any deployed missiles will carry more powerful warheads. Timing is also a factor. An Iranian official indicated that Tehran intends to avoid influencing the U.S. election with its attack, aiming to respond after November the 5th vote, but before the inauguration of the new president in January. But according to state news agency IRNA, Iranian President Masoud Pezeshkian said, if the Israelis reconsider their behavior, accept a ceasefire and stop massacring the oppressed and innocent people of the region, it could affect the intensity and type of our response. He added that Iran will not leave unanswered any aggression against its sovereignty and security, according to the news agency. A senior White House aide, Brett McGurk and Amos Hochstein, came to Israel for talks with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and senior officials about conflicts with Hamas in Gaza and Hezbollah in Lebanon, both backed by Iran. The meetings focused on efforts to secure a 60-day ceasefire deal in Lebanon and to assess new proposals floated by mediators to free Israeli hostages being held in Gaza, according to a U.S. official familiar with planning for the talks, who spoke on condition of anonymity because they were not authorized to comment publicly. Nonetheless, Israel's Channel 12 News quoted an unnamed official saying that a deal to end the conflict with Hezbollah in Lebanon could be inked within two weeks. Fighters of the 46th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces have prevented another Russian army attack in the direction of Kurakovo city of eastern Donetsk region. The invaders who tried to advance with dozens of different armored fighting vehicles were mostly stopped by the strikes of kamikaze drones. With successive strikes, most of the equipment was detonated together with the crew members. The infantry soldiers who were injured and could not leave the battlefield were killed by the missiles fired from the drones.
Ja, som i 70 let og... Nu er vi så på et trabærdigt. Kto? Så du bryder os, er det sådan? Ja, men det er dumme, jeg håber, det er meget snakkeligt. Ja. Все, все. Осмотр у тебя? А, нет, осмотр у тебя.